What's up, Pisces? It's your girl, Dominique, with Empathic Guidance, and I'm back with your last half of December tarot scope reading. Now, guys, in your meditated pre-shuffle spread, what I'm seeing here is that either you have or you are a part of this. <sighs> All right, so what I, what I definitely want to say say here is that it's looking like a commitment is kind of being dropped here maybe it was a long-term stable commitment maybe it was a marriage maybe like i said one or the other but it's looking like two people don't see eye to eye in that situation anymore because um somebody else started something else here I feel like a third energy was added to the mix and we all know three is company but this third party situation definitely caused a heartbreak in the situation. I feel like the person that this, either this Hierophant energy or this Knight of Wands energy, so it could be a fire sign or an earth sign of um, specifically a Taurus. But I feel like this person had passion for more than one person or maybe they was just sowing their oats, period. And the other party thought that it was a more serious situation than um what this energy is perceiving it and so they were kind of having fun still weighing the options celebrating with friends probably meeting new people but it's somebody in this situation that definitely feels led astray they feel led on they feel like um a huge injustice has been done for them because i feel as though um the person that even done the injustice they are really trying to close the chapter and move forward. I feel like they see victory in something else. I feel like they focus is elsewhere. I feel like they turned their back on a connection that they had and they possibly found a new love as they were outweighing their options, which left um, the person that they were dealing with feeling pretty um, backstabbed, feeling betrayed. Okay. Pisces, so put the energy as it lies with yourself because you can either be the person that's being kind of essentially left behind for a new love or you can be the one that's finding a new love and deciding that you know something that you once took seriously something that you once viewed as a, a commitment or a possible marriage is now going down the drain because of a newer energy stepping on the scene so okay main spread for pisces Sun, Moon, and Rising for the last half of December, Spirit. First card out, Four of Cups. So I do feel as though the person that had options, that was weighing their options at the time, they probably grew bored and complacent with the relationship they were in. I feel like it was a lack of compatibility, especially with these two people not being on the same page. One kind of being heartbroken while the other one is acting as though it's like, well, I thought you knew that it wasn't like that. But I do feel as though this person knew it was like that at one point because the Hierophant wouldn't be there at all if it was never anything to begin with. So either a person really was led on and led astray in this situation and that could be you, Pisces, or you could be doing the leading on. <laughs> but I do feel like for a period of time, um, a transformation was resisted here. Somebody didn't want this to end, and that could have been you, Pisces. You could be the Queen of Cups energy that had mad love in this situation where you like, why is this not working out in my favor? Because I feel as though I love this person a lot, but you feel like they just wouldn't settle down. They wouldn't give you your all, give you their all. I feel as though you stay strong. Even if this person was doing things to you and you was finding out, uh, Pisces that this person had interaction with people outside of you um, I feel like you remain strong and you tamed yourself against any temptation because you really saw, saw a future with this person you saw this person as your match as you can see we got the king queen of cups that could have been how y'all started off as an ultimate match and then all of a sudden this person gets bored this person can be the type of person that gets bored, though, Pisces, is what I'm getting here. I feel as though they put they all into a relationship because they like the idea of love. They like the idea of long-term commitment, stability in a relationship, but they don't know how to make it past the honeymoon phases. 
So they have this good, adventurous, uh, loving, romantic time at the beginning. And then when seriousness kicks in and it's time to actually build and work on that and capitalize on that and grow from that and expand that, <coughs> they go from being the king of cups to the, uh, the knight of wands where they like, okay, I got to find that new thing again. Because this is getting old and it's moving to the next level. And that's not what I want. Okay, Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Last half of December spirit. More messages for Pisces. Sun, Moon, and Rising. Yes. Mm -hmm. I feel like you focused and you focused and you put all your focus in this. And in the end, you felt defeated because it was just so easy for somebody else to take away something that you value so much and you thought that you and this person equally valued. Let's see. One more. Yeah. I feel like you healing. You taking some time to yourself. I feel like you're getting a lot of rest. I feel like this left you really emotionally um, and mentally uh, exhausted. Yep. Wow. Okay. I swear, y'all, this like narcissistic energy just keeps showing up. Yep. This is that energy of this person can't make it past the beginning stages of any relationship. Like every relationship is going to be, yeah, non-committal energy. Okay. So they coming up as the king of swords in reverse and the king of wands in reverse so not only are they a liar or manipulator they ex exude or exhibit narcissistic qualities but they also non-committal like to have sex with everybody always pulling out they dingling to show people to impress people like hey look at me you want me like you know this person is always gonna be the type to get bored easily four of cups let's find out let's see what that is courtship yeah and both of them are four. Mm -hmm. It feels as though they they look for that stability initially moving into situations, but they don't know how to remain stable themselves. Like they get distracted too quick by other stuff. So it's like they got bored with you and started courting somebody else. Why is the death card here in reverse, spirit? Mm -hmm. Let's see. Oh, mature man. This person refused. And look, it's funny that this is like resisting transformation, essentially a resisting change. And then here is five representing change here. So this person didn't want to mature. They wanted to stay young. They saw this leading down something that was going to be full of responsibility, like kids, marriage, you know, being a provider. And they croaked. And they literally went back to their Knight of Wands energy. Like, no, I just want to have, you know, some in and out fun. I want to see people when I want to see people and not deal with them when I don't want to deal with them. Queen of Cups. Why is the Queen of Cups here? Why is the Queen of Cups here for Pisces? Sun, Moon, and Rising. Yes. Oh, my gosh. Oh. You just had snakes and snakes all around you. And it was only a matter of time. Snakes and foxes. People just hiding who they really are. To me, you know, even though this is not a wolf, it's actually a fox card. But in this case, being in reverse, I don't feel as though this is somebody that changed their ways. I feel like this is somebody that hid their sneakiness. Like somebody that you would have never expected to, to smite you or to um, betray you in that type of way. And so now it's like you are, you are finally seeing like time really showed you that this wasn't going to go the distance the way you thought. Because I do feel like you felt like this was somebody that you had a future with. Why is the Page of Pentacles here, Spirit? Dang, I didn't even pick up half the cards. Why is the Page of Pentacles here, Spirit? Yes, uh, this person don't want to settle down. They want to celebrate. They want to have a good time. They want to travel. You know, they probably told you that they chose somebody else and cut this situation out through via text message or via text message, email. They probably left a letter on the counter. Who knows? 
But it feels as though this person couldn't even show you. So maybe they even ghosted you to leave you. Why is the strength card here? I feel like this is you remaining strong. Because no matter how much this person hurts you, you're taking the time to heal, yes. You may be feeling defeated, yes. But you're still the Queen of Cups. You're not the Queen of Cups in reverse. You're not the Queen of Wands in reverse. So, you know, you still going to take the strength and you're going to grow. You're going to move to the next level on your own if it's not going to be with this person. Why is the King of Cups here? And that's, that's who you used to see this person as. You used to see them, this is the person that you shared a home with. And you finally seen them for who they really are, which really is the King of Swords in reverse and the King of Wands in reverse, not the King of Cups. This is their representative. They sent their representative, and now you see. Why is the Knight of the Eight of Pentacles here? I feel like this is you just remaining focused no matter how you feel. You remain in focus and you're focusing on what you can get to grow. Official person. Yeah. You focusing. Wow. Yeah, I feel like you put all your focus into this person. Because you felt like this, no matter how unhealthy the situation was, main male, official person, bad health. <clears throat> Maybe this person even left you with bad health. Maybe this person caused stress-related health issues. Maybe this person gave you STDs with a sleeping around. Um, maybe this was just unhealthy and toxic, period. Because bad health, sometimes I see, is just like energetically bad. Like an unhealthy relationship. Nine of Wands, which left you feeling defeated. Why is the Nine of Wands here, Spirit? Mm-hmm. Regardless, and it's crazy because it's like cards keep coming out on top of each other. This is a nine card. This is a nine card. I feel like you held out still to the bitter end. You fought to the bitter end hoping that you guys can have a new beginning, that things can start fresh. Instead, they was putting their energy elsewhere. You didn't even realize y'all was at the end of y'all relationship. Why is the four of swords here, spirit? Mm-hmm. I feel like you're going to heal before you move on to find your true soulmate. And let's see what's at the bottom of the deck. Sudden wealth. Yeah, you took a hit. You took a hit, Pisces. Let's see. I'm going to get you some Oracle advice from the Oracle of Shadow and Light. This is one of my favorite Oracle decks. Okay, what does Pisces need to know, spirit? What is Pisces? Needs to know spirit. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Poe. So, Poe was the first thing that came out. Time for a change. Time to learn something new. To use technology and gadgets with wisdom. So, okay. So, I don't know what it is that you're focusing on, but maybe you're focusing on a new project. Maybe your first idea is to kind of win this person back because with that seven card, it's like you still focus on your domestication. So maybe you still focus on this person or this person coming back in your life because you really wanted a future with them. It's time for a treat. Candy cane angel. So yeah, after you take this rest, maybe this rest can be a vacation. Maybe you'll meet you some new love on a vacation or something. The three fate, what comes around? So I just want to say with this being a three of cups, three of swords type of energy, and then now the, the three fates, what comes around? This is definitely what comes around goes around. So I definitely feel like this is spirit telling you that not only are you going to regain um, what you put out, like you put a lot of love into the situation, attention, focus, you are going to get that back. And this person is definitely going to possibly have be stuck in a third party situation with somebody else. So whoever he put you in a third party situation with, that person might put them in a third party situation and they probably going to take that person as seriously as you took them. And they're going to be as hurt as you were. 
Okay, the fairy of the green world. The natural world needs you. So, okay, it's time for you to tap in, Pisces. With the 44 card here, that is stability. And with these two reduced down, a uh, eight, stability and prosperity. So, I feel as though you have some type of gifts that you need to hone into. You need to tap into nature. Um, as you can see, this is somewhat of a fairy and she's holding kind of a crystal ball. So tap into your gifts, gifts that you knew you had, gifts that you didn't feel comfortable, um, embarking on while you was in certain situations. Now it's time to be brave is what spirit is saying. So if you've been afraid to do that because you was afraid of who was going to accept you, if this person that you was with was going to accept you, you no longer need to worry about that at this time. You need to worry about yourself and what's best for you. So, and I feel like you are with this healing card here. This is uh, Amara the Menenum, and this is Aloha Healing. So, essentially with this, I feel as though of a vacation or some time away like what it said it's time for a treat so um that treat could be you going on some type of vacation to just retreat and heal and like realize that there's more to life than people that don't have your best interest at heart and you don't need to spend all your time ruminating on that type of energy go ahead and enjoy life and be in pursuit of your own happiness at this time okay pisces so if you aren't already a member of the soul tribe please go ahead subscribe hit that bell comment down below give me a big fat thumbs up and i'll see you guys on the next one ciao